bounce back. Now look at Apple. Once again, people are trying to pour some cold water on their numbers. Converse Social founder and CEO Josh March, a frequent guest on the program, is back with us today. Now, uh, Apple says they uh, sold, what, 13 million Apple iPhones, the six, I believe, over yep. the weekend. Compared to 10 million last year. Yeah, that's a big jump. Yeah. So why are people throwing cold water on it? Look, it's a great number. People are saying that this is the first time they included China in the, in the weekend launch as well. So the, the China's numbers were part of that. So potentially the numbers were flat in the U.S. Um, but overall, it's still a really powerful result. They basically own the top end of the market for smartphones, both in the U.S. and in China. They're continuing to make really major innovations that are changing the way we interact yeah, on that's a smartphone. What, that's what I want to hear about. Yeah. Now, you just told me during the commercial break, you yep. said, look, there's all kinds of innovations on the new Apple 6, the iPhone 6, yep. that will allow us to use this a lot in, in more complex ways. Yeah. Spell it out. So they have this 3D touch that they can actually sense how powerfully you're pressing the screen, which allows you to have much more complex ways of interacting. And if you look at millennials today, they're already using smartphones much more than computers. Yep. We're seeing n uh, smartphones being used not just for the consumption of media, but also starting to be used for the creation of media. Um, but it still can be relatively hard to, to really create content on a smartphone. By making you more able to, to handle much more complex interactions, they're helping turn smartphones into a powerful creation device. How, does, like, how does the touch thing, what, what was it again? So, yeah, live touch, called? it actually senses Mind how hard you're pressing yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. the screen. Well, how does yeah. that enable me to do more complex things on it, an iPhone? Like video editing and things <laughs> yeah, like that. I was, I was trying to use iMovie yesterday and I was just a failure at it on my yeah. smartphone, but it's because you can't, it, it doesn't register how much pressure is going on, but the new one has that, the which is a good thing. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so you can like change the way that you're perceiving things, push things forward. Mm -hmm. you, you can essentially manipulate things more 3D. Okay, now yeah. is that innovation on the iPhone? On the new iPhone. Is a new iPhone. Yeah. Mm. Is that in advance of? It is better than Samsung, for example. No one else has that exact same technology. Nobody else just has yet. got it. I'm sure people will, will catch up with the innovations, but they're the first ones to come out with it. And that's a big deal, you think? It's a, it's a really big deal. Because so at some point, I will never use a computer again, just this. I don't think so. I mean, increasingly, we're, we're seeing businesses today you know, move from a kind of mobile first strategy to like a mobile only strategy, right? Where mm -hmm. they're just they're working out how, how can they build experiences for consumers that are just on a smartphone. That they're not even worrying about desktop that at That new iPad, Stuart, is strictly for businesses. That's exactly That's who right. Apple is targeting with that new yeah. iPad. It's not you and I. It's yeah. strange, though, that the stock has stayed pretty much dead stable, 113, 114, mm -hmm. 115, despite the innovation that you're talking yeah. about. I think people are still worried about China, right, overall. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, Josh, thanks very much for joining us. As right. always, we appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Uh, 